game, Jim, and I tell you what, they passed the ball beautifully at times. I mean, the conditions are as bad as I've ever seen. And the United, to the credit, have been weak in recent weeks, and they nearly punish him here. Billy Dodds get on the end of a, a Tony Thomas mistake. Good Steve, uh, Stevie Woods back now. Good save from him. But what I was impressed about Motherwell was, although they made mistakes, and in conditions like this, that happens, they kept playing this passing game. And although United at times threatened to get a hold of this game, again, Alec, Ma Alec Martin, Billy Dodds, good saving, hitting the, the junction of the post and the bar. But United threatened a lot. But I think Paul Sturrock was right after the match. He says they're hoping for a miracle rather than making things happen. And until that changes, Motherwell will always be the more dominant. They've done well, Motherwell, haven't they, Craig? Bringing in people like John Spencer, Brannan, who seems a, r a real, real good buy from Manchester City. They have done well. I mean, we played against them... Uh, just I've before McMillan free kick, sorry Craig, uh, with yeah, a great, great yeah, effort. We played against him just before Harry Campman you know, lost his job and you know, they were poor that day, uh, but they've come on leaps and bounds. I say you bring in quality players like John Spencer, who's a big friend of mine from my days at Chelsea. And I'm, in us. I'm sure Motherwell are hoping they can, they can tie up him in a long term deal, but... Uh, There's they're Brannan there. Yeah, they're certainly going well. Jeb Brannan yeah. was at Man City, unfortunately it didn't work out from there, but... Well, it's a cross from Spenny, he was involved in most of the things yesterday, but Brannan for me was the pick of the bunch. Great header, his first goal for Motherwell. But all day this guy got the, the ball down and passed it on the floor. And in those conditions, I have to compliment it because, you know, time and time again, it's easy to just lump the ball forward. But United, I think this is a Darren Patterson. Great strike. Typical when you're down the bottom. This is the type of luck you get. I thought United would actually have done a wee bit better this year. Uh, guys like Dodds and Olufsen. But uh, it doesn't seem to be happening for them. And he's certainly got a tough job in his hands, Paul Sturrock. So it really is an uphill struggle for United now, Craig, isn't it? Well, I think so. I mean, they're down there. Uh, Rangers on Wednesday. We Rangers, Rangers are a hard game for them. I mean, I'll be hoping they can they can do something <laughs> there. But uh, they certainly are struggling and uh, they don't seem to have a lot of money to bring in quality players. So it's going to be tough on another relegation fight for them, I would think. I think he's got to change it. I said last weekend, I think Paul Sturrock's got to get maybe one or two defenders in that he can rely on a wee bit more because they, they look nervous at the moment. Until that changes, they'll stay down the bottom area. Charlie, Celtic went to Dens Park and D tonight.